Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, take a look at this actual JE question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post your answer in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. First of all, understand how the intensity variation takes place in case of point source. As we know that in case of point source, energy emanates uniformly in all directions. In case of point source, energy emanates uniformly in all directions. So, let us understand this with the help of a small animation here. Suppose, here we have got a point source which emanates energy in all possible directions. As you can see, just consider these particles as the sound energy. And if we consider a, a sphere, suppose, if we consider a sphere of, say, radius x, x is the radius of this particular sphere and here is the source let us suppose power of the source point source we are talking about the point source first let us suppose the power of this point source is p say average p average and the amount of energy which is emanating from this point is uniformly distributed in 3d space but if we make a sphere with its center at the location of the source, then we know that whatever energy is being produced by the source has to cross this sphere anyhow. So, if we talk about the distance x, as we know, the power P average is the energy produced per unit time. So, energy crossing this particular sphere per unit time is P average. If we make it per unit area, it becomes intensity. So, intensity I will be the P average divided by 4 pi x square because in case of point source, there is uniform distribution of energy in all over 3D space. So, intensity in case of point source varies inverse to the square of the distance from the source. So, this result is important and you must Remember this thing, you must keep it in your mind, that intensity of the point source varies inversely to the square of the distance. As you can see that in case of point source, energy emanates uniformly in all directions. And if we make a sphere of radius x, then that is the area. The area of the sphere is 4 pi x square. And this much energy must be crossing this area per unit time. So we arrive at this relation for the intensity of the point source according to the distance. So, it is inverse to the square of the distance. So, now we have studied properties of electromagnetic wave. First, speed in free space. Speed C is equal to 1 by root of mu naught into epsilon naught. That is nothing but E naught by B naught. It is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. In a medium, speed will be 1 by epsilon into root of epsilon into mu. Epsilon naught is absolute permittivity, mu naught is absolute permittivity. E naught and B naught are amplitudes of electric field. Intensity. The energy crossing per unit area per unit time perpendicular to the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave is called intensity. The energy crossing per unit area per unit time perpendicular to the direction of propagation of electromagnetic wave is called intensity. Intensity I is equal to U average into C. That is half of epsilon naught E square into C. Or we can also write half of B square by mu naught into C. Hey there. Hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question shown at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. 
These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.